Hey guys, time for another Rob vlog. Today I'll be giving you a quick update on where my training's at and uh, answering the question of does running help burn belly fat? Which is a question I see online. Cue the intro. For the update, this is uh, two days after the Taupo Ultra uh, Ultra Marathon 24k course. We were supposed to do the 50k, but we dropped down because Joe had a knee injury, she was coming off. So do I, really. So, uh, yeah, the race went really well. It was a good day out. It rained a little bit in the middle, but it was nice at the start and nice at the end, so that's good. Now we're just uh, starting to put the, the wheels together on the uh, Tarawira 50k course, which is coming up in the start of February, I think. About 10th of February, something like that. So yeah, just a quick 6k today or so. Just to blow the cobwebs out, keep myself ticking over. My form was getting a little bit high because I went around quite slow with Joe just to run with her. Ah, it's all I feel here. <laughs> it's all I feel. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, answer a question each time I do one of these logs. And uh, today I thought I'd start off with, does running burn belly fat? It's a question I saw asked online. Um, specifically running it says, but I'll answer it for trail running. I mean, the answer is yes and no. Um, a very basic level exercise pretty much comes down to if you're burning more calories than you're bringing in through food and diet, you will lose weight. Um, but I see online a lot of questions that are, will I fix my abs or make my bum bigger or smaller or whatever and it just doesn't work that way yes running will burn off your belly fat but you have to burn off all your fat to get to, to get that effect you know you can't just focus on one area um and to be honest if you're asking the sort of question where you're saying will this make my belly smaller i suspect you're probably quite overweight which is fine, I mean, that's where I was when I started. And to be honest, I still am. I still got a good 10 kilos to go. Which I'll probably be dropping in the next 16 weeks, so keep an eye on that. Um, I might do some videos on weight loss specifically as I lose that weight, but yeah, running, well, you will lose weight, but if you are overweight, to be honest, I don't know if I'd recommend running to you because it is quite high impact. Um, injury is part of kind of the sport, you know, everyone does get injured from time to time. But it does happen more if you are overweight. And uh, yeah, there is a lot of pressure on the joints and so on. So I would say if you were looking to lose belly fat, your best bet is start with diet. And I mean, really start with diet, not just cut out pizza and beer and pasta or whatever, but you know, really look at what you're eating. Is there a way you can get more vegetables and less calorie dense things in your food, in your diet? Because that will get you probably 80% of the way there. Now, it won't help your fitness. You still won't be able to run very far, but once you've lost the weight, running is so much more accessible. So that would be my advice to start with that. When you do want to do run uh, exercise after losing some weight, you know, Something lower impact like swimming or cycling. It's a very good option. That's why I cross train with cycling because I am overweight and uh, just gives me a little bit of rest time for my ankles. So that's what I do. Um, if I was starting out and I was really quite overweight, I would uh, do a bit more cycling. You know, probably 75%. Start with uh, incline walks. Walking off inclines is generally good because you get the intensity without getting the, the impact on your joints. So um, going up hills is a really good way to start. Just be careful when you run down the hills. Everybody loves running down hills, but it's very hard on your joints, particularly if you're overweight. So just be careful. But that will get you most of the way there. 16 weeks until race day. It'll be a 50K. It's a decent distance. It's a decent amount of elevation. I think it's 1500-ish, but they've changed the course this year, so it might be slightly different. Um, 
So yeah, just to keep myself in shape. I've got 16 week build up. So I'll give myself another three, four days, half a week or so after the last 24 race, because we didn't go that hard on that race. And then um, really try, try and target the weight loss. So I'll be cutting the calories quite significantly. Nothing crazy, but I want to try and get most of the weight gone in the first uh, eight, nine weeks. We're looking at about two pounds a week, kilo a week, something like that. Um, if I can get down to sort of 84, 83 kilos, that'd be great. Usually I hit about 85 and I plateau. So I've been down to 82 before. I mean, I do a weight in my mind at least. It's more like 75, so um, I don't know if I'll get that far down, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, you just want to make sure you don't confuse working a particular muscle group, such as your abs, glutes, hamstrings, whatever, with burning fat in a particular area, because it just isn't done that way. You can strengthen a particular area of your body, and I recommend you do, particularly if you're doing a sport such as running, target those running muscles but in terms of weight loss you've got to just look at it from a numbers game um, and the other thing to remember is it's quite hard to run for three hours but cycling for a couple of hours is not as difficult so you can do it more often and uh, in terms of exercise if you could do more cycling and burn more calories doing that then do that because it is just a numbers game that said if you hate cycling because of public roads and cars or whatever and running you love being in the forest then uh, if running is not the only thing you'll actually stick to then yeah run but if you are overweight to the point where you might injure yourself you've got to be a little bit careful that's all i'll give you a, i'll give you a view from the top when we get up there probably a Another thing I should mention, I don't really want to go into it too much today, um, but if you're looking to burn belly fat and you're exercising specifically for weight loss, the zones are very important. Um, I'm exercising up in zone 3 right now, and I should be zone 2 because I'm looking to lose weight, so I need to bring it down a bit. And uh, reality is 80%, maybe a bit more of your runs should be zone two keeping a small fraction for high intensity hill workouts and that's heart rate based so you know if you're a beginner bear in mind that what's high intensity for you might not be for someone else if you're looking to lose weight it's more about time in zone than intensity you know you want to be down in that zone two and just stick there for as long as you can and the other thing as well if you can do an hour but it turns out doing an hour means you can't go again the next day. Don't do an hour. Do half an hour. I'll do half an hour every single day. Because otherwise, you get injured, you skip days. Or worse, you just get out of the habit. And, uh, you know, people talk about going on a diet, losing weight. Your diet is what you eat. If you're going to lose weight, you have to change what you eat forever. Permanently. Or at least for a competition period or whatever because otherwise you'll just put the weight back on again. So if you're gonna exercise, make it something you can sustain because otherwise it's no fun just yo-yoing up and down all the time, unless that's your plan. Um, it's no fun at all to just pile the weight back on and see it all undone. You know, what I tend to do is I, I do yo-yo a little bit. I go quite hard on a diet and then I keep up 20% of it, fall back into my own ways go all hard on a diet again, keep up another 20%. So I slowly get better, but I never managed to keep up all the habits first time forever. Yeah, so I've done most of this run at zone three actually, a little bit too hard, but I find this often happens when I've had a rest day. The next day you just go too high, and then you end up having to take another day because you've gone too hard, but I'll uh, walk for a little bit. It's not far to the top now, it's all downhill. And I should be able to go again tomorrow. Nice low intensity tomorrow though. Definitely zone two. Start that, that weight loss program right, you know. Not going too hard. This uh, hill is quite short and sharp, so it's very easy to go out of zone. Hopefully um, 
you enjoy this format of video. I've been playing around with a few different formats recently. And uh, if you do like this, like and subscribe. Um, I'll probably do one of these every couple of weeks whenever I've got a question to answer or something in my training to report on. And I'll let you know how it goes. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll almost certainly pick them up and answer them in the next, next training log.